Hey guys, this is what happened, but you weren't here so you missed it. Oh, happy Friday! Although you're probably watching this on Saturday. It's doggy nap time. Hi, did I wake you, sir? You look, you're looking very handsome today in your striped sweater. It's pretty cold in New York. I wish this one over here would wear a sweater, but... Yeah, he's all cozy in his cozy cuddler. I don't know why I'm out of breath. I guess I was just running around. I don't know, and I probably have chocolate in my teeth because it's Friday. It's okay to eat candy on Friday. So, Sean... Sean! You're styling today, buddy. Check out Sean. He's wearing his uh, Old Navy zip-up. Shawnee, you look so handsome today. What do you say? Oh, he just got his Sonic the Hedgehog in the mail. You want to show everybody your Sonic? <clears throat> so Kristen just left for work. And I guess the recipe that I'm going to be doing tonight is the one that she was supposed to do last week. <laughs> the gluten-free, like, Cheez-Its. So I guess I'll be doing that one. I don't know what I'm going to make for dinner. Oh boy, look at that. Sonic the Hedgehog. So cool. Enjoy it, buddy. Okay? Okay. <laughs> he was looking at me like, what do, you, do you want something from me? It's been a long week. So yeah, I had to work today. Let me walk over here. My, um, my battery is about to run out, so I guess I'll check back with you guys in a few minutes. Oh, it's college girl check-in! I have soap opera lighting today. I know, it's pretty hot, actually. I also have Jesus here. It looks very dramatic. Very <laughs> right? fitting. With the crucifix and the soap opera lighting. I know. So how was your week? <laughs> it was busy. Well, at least you survived the storms. Yes. And, do you want to tell everyone where you were last week? Washington, D.C. What? She's a D.C. girl. It was pretty awesome. I was at a dance competition. And we were watching it online. And I love when they have them online because it's just so awesome. It's like I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It's almost better than being there. because No, but then you don't, you miss out on the, the one of the best parts, which is like, seeing all the weirdos that you I, see at other competitions. I saw the weirdos. Yeah, but I bet you missed out on a lot. I, saw, I recognized a lot of people from uh, when we were at Rutgers. Yeah, because they all <laughs> travel in the same circles. This is one goofy guy that I remember from Rutgers, and I was just like, ah! With the glasses? <laughs> no, someone else. There was no, I know who you're talking about, though. The Woody Allen? No. What? Remember the Woody Allen guy from uh, Rutgers? Yeah, he had like... Um, I'm thinking of someone else then. Okay. He, This guy I remember from Rutgers and he was dancing with uh, like a little shorter girl. I think he was in bronze level and he had glasses and like an afro and I'd have to, I'd have to point him out. Maybe when we go to the next dance competition, if he hasn't graduated yet or whatever, <laughs> he'll be there. But it's like a pageant girl circuit, you know? It's, you see the same people yeah, all friends. the time. And you're the honey boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> honey boo boo dances ballroom, baby. <laughs> but honey boo boo never wins. You won. Tell everybody what you won. Well, we won third place in Viennese Waltz. And which, which was huge, by the way, because this dance competition was positively it had over huge. Over 800 competitors. How many? Say it again. For 800. 800? Yeah, in the whole thing. Wow. So I'm, there were like 100 couples in bronze. Right. In, right. So for you to win a, that high of a ribbon is a big accomplishment. Mm -hmm. It's a good job. <laughs> and we got second place in one of the fun dances because they do these things called fun dances. <laughs> so what was your fun dance? Um, our fun dance was originally sexy waltz, but then the second round was sexy tango, and the third round was sexy polka. Oh! <laughs> Ask me how we made that happen. Oh, sexy polka! <laughs> it was interesting. Did they play Gangnam Style? 
<laughs> they did during the uh, group dance. I don't know what was going on in this competition, but they had some sort of a group match. The team competition? Team, comp co team comp, like when you were in London. Yeah, they do that over here occasionally. Oh, okay. Because I thought, wow, is that like what would happen when you were in London? Yeah. You like pick couples to represent your team for certain dances. That was awesome, but you didn't have, you and your partner were the only one from your team. <laughs> had this competition. Yeah, so you couldn't do it. Teams of two, Tim Gunn. <laughs> By the way, have you seen any of the new um, Project Runway All-Stars? No. You know who's back, don't you? Please tell me Andre. That's exactly who I was going to say. <laughs> Andre, our little lamb. What Whatever happens to Andre? Andre? <laughs> Pull the corn cob out of your. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think that's. I think we've all had enough. I think so. All right, have a good week. Bye. Bye. Ah, oh, my favorite person in the world is home. It's Friday, honey. Thank God. <laughs> it's been a long week. Yeah. A long, horrible, horrible difficult week. week. Hi, Sean. Hi. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Okay. Are you excited for the Thanksgiving Day Parade? Yes. What day is it? 2012. 2012? What day in November? 22. Oh, okay. He's already excited. Mm -hmm. Nothing better happen tomorrow that day. Mm -hmm. They better get ah. everything together for New York City wow. for that Thanksgiving Day Parade because they will have to answer to Sean. <laughs> I hope they're ready for that parade. I mean, the city's a mess. I know. Oh, no. They better be ready. If that's canceled, Sean's dreams will be dead. <laughs> he lives for that every year. You guys have no idea. He's got every single balloon, like, in caricature form, whatever, in his room. He prints out the lineup days before and has a checklist for when each balloon comes out. So... Mm. It's pretty hardcore. So, yeah, what is it? Quarter to seven. Ooh, it's time to cook dinner. I had big plans for tonight. <laughs> but it's Friday, honey. I'm not getting takeout, but... Get some junk out of the freezer. I'm, I'm going to cook, but it's not going to be a sumptuous feast. Veggie burgers. Veggie, ooh, you know, I do have some good veggie. I have to use the tempeh up. I know that makes you sad, but I'm sorry. I'll try and make it delicious. I might use, actually, I might use some of those sauces that, um, that I bought, you know, and put it over rice. Maybe some fried tempeh over rice with nice sauce and some veggies on the side. I think that sounds quite nice, actually. And I have to make my recipe. I have to pick up the ball where Kristen dropped it. Kristen was all big plans to make that, um... Cheez-Its, gluten-free. She's like, you can make it if you want. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. I guess I will, because people want to see it, I guess. But people probably want to see it made by her more than they do by me. But we'll see what happens. I'll try and do a good job. All right, guys, so I love it when a plan comes together. What show is that from? Do you remember? The A-Team. All right, so I'm... Frying my tempeh with breadcrumbs, unfortunately. I gotta use them up. I don't wanna throw out all those breadcrumbs. <laughs> and, you know, gluten wise, it's not really that much, right? I'm sure eating a piece of bread is worse than eating some little bit of breadcrumbs on there. So I'm uh, dredging them with some 100% egg whites. And here's the flaxseed one. I'm making one flaxseed one and one regular one. So that's what it looks like when it's done. And I'm going to be putting it in the marsala sauce with mushrooms and garlic. And we're going to serve that over some rice and probably some steamed broccoli on the side. So that sounds like a nice dinner, doesn't it? A quick throw together dinner? I'm so glad you're home. And it's actually supposed to be nice tomorrow. 
hope we don't have to pick up more leaves. <laughs> Are there more leaves to pick up? A little bit. All right, not as bad as last week, though, right? No. All right, well, that's good. Because I don't like that. It's that time again. It's dance party. No, it's tasty tasting time because it's dinner. Come on, honey. Run in here like a fool. <laughs> Are you actually going to do it? Oh. Can you run in here like a fool? Oh, you're already in here. No, I'm lame. You're lame? Okay. Get it? That, that doesn't mean lame. It means her leg is hurting. So we have fresh steam broccoli. I don't think the viewers realize I landed in Jean Bob position <laughs> when I fell. They don't before. know what Jean Bob position Explain is. Explain it. That's with your leg extension. <laughs> it's like you know how the if you if you're like Swan Princess. The floor. No, like I know, but like a model like might go like, like Burt Reynolds wearing nothing but his pantyhose. And on that was um, so the front of the Joe impact Namath. was right on my buttocks slash hip. Right. When I said that she stubbed her toe, I meant she would complain if she stubbed her toe, not that she stubbed her toe. So yeah, now if, when I get up from she sitting, took a cider. Uh, I'm like. All right. Well, you probably didn't break it, but. I hope I didn't break my butt bone. Your butt bone? You actually do have a butt bone. Yeah, it's not my coccyx. It's not the middle. <laughs> it's my right buttocks. Yeah, this bone, this bone's in there, isn't there? Yeah. Like the bottom of your pelvis or something. Hey, get out of the garbage, Chihuahua. <laughs> Anyhow, what do you think and about that? My armpit hurts really bad because I landed like this, and it was a. Yes, Kristen. What do you think? Why don't you touch it to your chin like Robert and <laughs> everybody loves Raymond. And the water on my chin. All right. Well, what kind of sauce is this? Marsala. Is it good? No, it's awful. You didn't even taste it yet. I don't know. It's kind of bland. Well, I probably made too much rice for the amount of sauce. A slight, like, orangey. Really? Because I don't think there's any orange in there. I can't explain it. Is it good though? No. <laughs> See, Sorry. I told you. <sighs> Failure. <laughs> oh, great, but you'll still eat it, right? I have to. Oh, um, he's being forced to eat it. Will you please taste it? I don't know. You know, I like to play, parade around when I get home. <laughs> Will this involve a candy bar in your crack? You sure? Can you demonstrate? I want to parade around off camera. Can you demonstrate the candy bar in your crack? By the way, in case you guys didn't realize. Mom, I'm so tired of the story. <laughs> when Kristen was in college, she would have these performance highs and pre-performance highs where she would do crazy stuff. <laughs> So Maddie and I were working on a video or something, and we were in the living room, and she offered us a candy bar out of a crack of her butt. I love that story. Now that sufficient parading has taken place. <laughs> what do you think? These are decent. This mm -hmm. just tastes like plain rice and broccoli is broccoli. I think the problem with the rice is I just didn't have enough sauce. But the sauce is really good because I lick the bag. <laughs> Kristen approves of the tempa. Tempe. You like it? It almost tastes like fish sticks. It's kind of weird. I was going to say it's like a mozzarella stick. Oh, maybe, yeah, but not stretchy and luscious. Just not. <laughs> not melty. Alright, so you'd, you'd eat the tempa again? All right, good to know. Maybe if I have a dripping sauce. Try some of this salad dressing. Dip it in my salad dressing. This is my dinner, by the way. Oh, I didn't put my rice on yet. What do you think about that? Yeah? So have some salad dressing on it, then. Good stuff. Next time I need more sauce. More sauce! Who's the cutest puppy? They can beg for it. Clean doesn't have to take longer.
Yeah. <laughs> oh, two paws. Oh. Puppy, you're such a handsome little puppy with your uniboob. Yeah. Make him work for it. Come on, puppy. Tell Kristen. Don't stop petting. Come on. I need a massage. I'm working hard here. So that's enough. I'm done. Alright, maybe not. Alright guys, it's 11 o'clock. So what am I doing? Making gluten-free cheese crackers. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick. I know. It's a sickness. I can't sit still. Alright, so um, if you want to find out how they turn out at 11 o'clock at night, make sure you watch the recipe. Um, it should be up at the same time that this is up. And I hope you try it because it's really simple. It was pretty fun. Um, and it was it was simple. That's what I like about it. I don't like when a, when a recipe has like a thousand ingredients. And yes, that's Mark snoring in the background. <laughs> it's not it's not puppy. It's Mark. All right. So, kids, till tomorrow. Much love.